Hey everybody, uh, for this one I'm going to go over how to set up and use an awesome little program called Search Deflector. And let me explain why. When you normally click search and type in something, it's going to by default open up in Microsoft Edge. Now it's asking me because I had Search Deflector installed and I changed the default. But it would normally open up in Edge and it would search on Bing. And yeah, you can see here, it's even got the little Bing logo. Bing sucks, as does Edge. So with Search Deflector, you can search with Chrome, which is what you should be using as a browser because it's the best, or Firefox or Safari or whatever other junk you want to use for Windows 10, but Chrome's the best. I don't care. Uh, we all know that Google steals all of your information, but whatever, it's the price you pay. So what you want to do is search for Search Deflector in Google, and this is what will come up. Open up the first link there, it's a GitHub page, and then scroll on down. Now you can pay for it from the Microsoft Store for two bucks, but don't do that, that's dumb. Instead, come on down here to download, click it, hit keep. It's only one and a half megabytes, and when it's installed, it'll take about four megabytes. Now I'm gonna get rid of that, and that, and that, okay. Uh, I'll just leave this up here in case you want to find it. So this is the installer. So we're gonna right click and do run as administrator. When you're installing basically anything, you should do that just to make sure that all the permissions and everything are set appropriately. Uh, if you run it just normally, if you're not an administrator, it could cause you know, possible issues um, where it doesn't have the permissions that it needs. This is a safe program as far as I know. I've never had any issues with it. So run as admin, hit next. Bring this over here so you can see it a little better. Accept, next. I promise I have read, oh yes sir we have, next, next. You probably want to have automatic updater on. I've never had it give me a notification or, or do anything. Um, but I assume that when Chrome updates or when Windows updates, Search Deflector will probably occasionally need to update. So you probably want to keep that checked. But you can uncheck it if you want to. You see it takes 4.2 megabytes of disk space. Very small program. Next. Next. I'm going to do register for all users. Next, install. Now when it's done, it'll pop up with another window. There we are. Now it's asking you, okay, what browser do you want? Basically, you only need to change two things here. One thing, really. Select Chrome. Uh, again, if, you're, if Chrome is the system default, then that's what it will use anyways. But I would suggest uh, selecting Chrome to make sure that it chooses that automatically. Uh, assuming that's the one that you want, it fills in this here for you. And then preferred search engine, you can choose a different one. You can go with Yahoo if you're old school, but I would keep mine as Google and then hit apply. That's it, and then close. And then it says finish. Now the first time you try to use the search, it's gonna ask you what program you want to use. So, ah, it won't with mine, <laughs> simply because I had it installed previously. But what will normally happen is it'll pop up with that little um, box that says uh, what program would you like to use um, with the search box and you will not see Chrome on there. You need to click on uh, do this for all, there's a little checkbox that says uh, do this every time and then you want to click search deflector and that way it will default to search deflector every time you do search down here. So, I don't know, news about politics. And you see it's opening up in Google automatically. Now, if you go to do search and do settings, for instance, it still brings up the regular settings app. Uh, if you go to do, uh, let me see, this PC, it still brings up the this PC app. But if you search for something that it doesn't already have in the start menu, um, I don't know, then it will show up automatically in Google Chrome. That's it. It's free, it's small, it's awesome, it just works. 
and you can get rid of that bing and edge crap that no one wants and no one uses and have it open up in Google like the good Lord Google intended. All right. Um, that's all. Hope I helped somebody. Um, I am sure that the guy who made this, Spike Spaz, whoever that is, uh, apparently it is Jacob Burkett. I am sure that he would appreciate it if you purchased the version from Microsoft because I suspect that Microsoft gets $1.98 and Spike Spaz gets one cent or something like that. He probably gets $1.50 out of it. Um, it does say the free version is unsigned and may register a false positive with your antivirus software. I don't use a separate antivirus. I use Microsoft Windows Defender and it doesn't give any issues. It just works. Um, if you have Avast or uh, Avira or you know Kaspersky or one of the others, it might. Um, however, with the paid version, it seems like that will not be an issue. Again, I use the free one because I'm poor and broke and I'm a teacher. But if you really like it and you want to support the um, creator, you can pay the $1.99. It's an awesome program though. You should definitely get it. All right. Hope this helps somebody. Enjoy.